Hello everybody and welcome back to my redstone world. Today we're going to be looking at the redstone circuit, the hopper box. I've got a couple to show you and um, I'll hope that um, yeah, by the end of the session you'll be using them within your own designs. So let's crack on with it and I'll show you how to do, how they're done. Okay, so let's get started. So this all this is is a very simple pulse um, generator. So I just want one there. I'm going to put the lamp there. Start with the output. We're going to put that comparator facing into the lamp, and then we're going to put the hopper, which is facing down there at the moment, and we're going to put this hopper facing into there. Get rid of the first hopper. Put that there so they're both facing into each other, and then we're going to put one item into the hopper itself. And as you can see, that then starts flashing. Nice and simple. This will will only work with one item in the hopper, and therefore will only operate at this speed. Okay, so let's crack on with the second uh, one. I'm going to do a four by two or a two by four base. On the front, first two, I'm going to stick a hopper going into there. I'm going to stick another hopper going into that one. We're going to get rid of that hopper, and then we're going to stick the hopper in together so it creates a cycle right there. We're going to stick 16 blocks in there. That's right. Then what we're going to do here, we're going to stick some comparators going away. And then on top of those comparators, we're going to stick another block, like so. And then we're going to stick the redstone torches on top of those blocks, so just like that. And they actually lock the hoppers. So the next bit we're going to put a um, oh, no, uh, block here, two blocks. On those blocks we're going to put uh, torches, redstone torches. And then on top of this we are going to put facing basically facing the hopper the you know, hoppers now and going away from the torches we're going to put the comparators here and then we're going to stick what we can do is look at the line of the comparator you can stick a a dropper so it faces in that direction and then the second one we're going to come around here and we can stick it there so now they face each other so all we need to do now is stick one into here and what should happen is that's it. And you can see one empty. So now that's locked. Or the items will be, uh, will be um, send it to this hopper, and it go back and forth, and it changes on when the, where they depend on where this one is being set. So we can then put on the outputs. We can stick. Basically, output there or an output oh, there, and we can then watch. And again, we can do it from here as well. Okay, so let's go on to the third one, third design. Again, this is a two by four. Five actually, sorry, five. Okay, so two by five. The first one we're going to put there. We're then going to create this hopper circuit. To open one going into the other, get rid of the first one, and then stick another hopper into there so it cycles. We're then going to stick two blocks in front of it. We're then going to have comparator uh, blocks on top of here. We're then going to put comparators there and there. And then we're going to turn around and then we're going to have comparators on there and there as well. We're going to have another two blocks here and we're going to stick a redstone torch there and there. And now what we're going to do is stick a hopper on top of that comparator. Then another hopper going into there. And then the hopper going into there again. So this is then um, has circulates the, the items as well again into there. So let's take the block, we'll take 16, 16 items, so stick 16 in there and then we'll stick one item in here as well and hopefully that should now start cycling and it is, yeah. So basically 
that is the second one, the third one. So what we're going to do here, we can take the output wherever we've got these torches. So we can put one, oh, let's put a red um, one there, put one there, coming out there, we can put one there, we can put one there, one there, oh, one there. That's touching, so it, it transfers the signal across. But yeah, you can see that. Yeah, we're able to get those items from there. Well, okay. So let's crack on with this. We're on to the fourth one now. So place the first block down. From there, we're going into um, a comparator going into the block there. We're then going to stick down a hopper here. And then into it, we're going to stick the second hopper again. We're going to get rid of the first hopper and stick the other hopper there so they're cycling into each other. We're then going to grab another comparator, we'll stick that there. We're then going to get another block there. We're going to put redstone on top of here. We're then going to put a sticky piston on top of the comparator and then. We're going to put a sticky piston on there. So what you can do is aim for the redstone, and on the edge of that redstone, you can basically place the block. We're going to put a redstone block on top of the hopper, and then just to check everything there. We've got. We can put that there, and then hopefully, yeah, it's draining away. And then what we do is either side of this, we can actually then put. Uh, so stick one there. We can then do another one here as well. Uh, oh, and we can just basically put some redstone. Put redstone there, and we can do what, lamp there. We can also do it directly to so the lamps on there. And then on this side, we can do exactly the same again. So we can put the lamp there run the signal from there or we can run the signal there as well okay so we're going to crack on to the next one uh, this one is going to be number five I think the uh, that one over there is is just a variant of the one we've just done so yeah that's going to be like 4a so let's um, put the block down let's get a comparator stick the comparator into the block let's put the first hopper down and then the second hopper going into the first hopper remove the first hopper and stick the third hopper into the second hopper so it's going round like that then we put another comparator down and then we put a block and then we put a redstone and then followed by another redstone and this is where the design slightly changes right so we want a button we take the button a load of buttons here we stick the button onto the one side of the system and then we stick the a normal piston on the opposite block from the button we then go to the other side and then we stick a sticky piston on the side of the button itself we then place the redstone block on top of the hoppers and then we take out the outputs that we want and then the lamp just for example and then from the hopper we then put in the items that we want so that will push the redstone across We'll just wait for it to reset itself. So now we wait for the normal piston to move back like that. And now that won't move until we press the button. So it moves across, that pulls back, which pulls the redstone block back. And then that moves back there and we're ready to reset again. One. Okay, so here's the last design. Um, it is, the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna stick a block down here. We're gonna count one, two, and then put another block down. Like that. We're then gonna put a comparator in on there and a comparator on there. We're then going to stick that down there and that. Remove the bottom block, stick another block down and then a one on top of it and get rid of that one. And we're going to do it again here as well. So we have three blocks going up. I'm going to do the same for this side. So whatever we do to that side, we do here. Um, and what's next? So we're going to get the redstone torches. We're going to stick a redstone torch there. Redstone torch there. And then we're going to have a redstone torch up there. We're going to have a redstone torch up there. And what we're going to do is going to have a block, uh, sorry, a hopper there, 
the first hopper, then get the second hopper going into the other one, the first one, and then remove the first one, put the second one, third one in, and you'll create the cycling of the components there. And then what we want is, oh, I'm missing my sticky piston. Where is my sticky piston? Get a sticky piston, that's it. So sticky piston down, put a sticky piston up there, and on the other redstone torch above the hopper, we then want a redstone block which goes on top of there, and then we're ready. Let's check. Yeah, that's okay. And we've got one there as well. Take the items, stick them in the hopper, and away it goes. It should cycle through. That's it, and it moves back and forth. So with here, we can basically take um, signals. like that so as it moves across we get the indication that's going on we can do the standard indications where uh, it's redstone so we can do like we've done previously we can stick and put the uh, redstone lamp, um, dust there get the lamp stick one there do to the other side and we go boom um, boom boom get a bit of redstone dust and then the lamp and away you go and that's it Okay, that's it for for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial of the redstone hopper clock. So I'll certainly be trying to make some more. Um, so if you did like this and you think that you'd be able to use these uh, in your own designs, then yeah, definitely like this like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll try and get as much content out to you as soon as possible. So thanks for watching. Goodbye and take care. And remember, Minecraft soothes even the savage beast.